Welcome to the sixth class on complex analysis. Today we discuss some problems in the section power series. Problem number one. Show that the radius of convergence of the power series sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity minus on the whole raised n by n divided to the power n into n plus 1 is 1. And discuss convergence for z is equal to 1 minus 1 and i. Note that the coefficient of z to the power n in this power series is minus on the whole raised to k divided by k if n is of the form k into k plus 1. For all other values of n, the coefficient the coefficients are 0. So the coefficient of z to the power n that is a n can be written as minus on the whole raised to k divided by k if n is equal to k into k plus 1 and 0 otherwise. The radius of convergence of a power series is given by the formula 1 by r is equal to limit superior of mod n raised to 1 by n. Since the limit supremum is not affected by the zeros, we can write 1 by r is equal to limit supremum of 1 by nth root of n. And note that the sequence 1 by nth root of n converges to the limit 1. Therefore, the limit superior of 1 divided by nth root of n is equal to 1. So, the radius of convergence of the power series is 1. This means that the circle of convergence is the unit circle mod z is equal to 1. Next, we will discuss the behavior of the series at the points plus or minus 1. And note that plus or minus 1 are the points on the circle of convergence of the power series. And note that minus on the whole raised to n into n plus 1 is always 1. So when, it, so when z is equal to plus or minus 1, the power series becomes equal to minus, if n is equal to 1 to infinity, minus on the whole raised to n divided by n. That is equal to minus 1 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus etc. And we know that this series, this alternating series converges to the value or converges to the limit minus log 2. Next, we will discuss the behavior of the power series when z is equal to i. And note that z is equal to i is a point on the unit circle mod z is equal to 1. When z is equal to i, the power series becomes 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 7 plus etc. Now let S n be the sequence of partial sums of this power series. We prove that the odd subsequence S 2 n plus 1 and the even subsequence S 2 n converges to the same limit. Now S 2 n plus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus etc minus 1 by 2n plus 1 and yes 2n is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus etc 1 divided by 2n plus 1. Now consider the difference modulus of yes 2n plus 1 minus yes 2n that is equal to 1 divided by 2n plus 1. Observe that 1 divided by 2n plus 1 approaches to 0 as n tends to infinity. And this means that the odd sequence S2n plus 1 and the even subsequence S2n converges to the same limit. Hence the sequence Sn converges. This tells us that this series is convergent when z is equal to i. Problem number 2. Find the radius of convergence of the power series sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity z raised to n factorial. Note that the given power series can be written as sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity 
an z to the power n is equal to 1 plus z plus z square plus 0 into z cube plus 0 into z raise to 4 plus etc. And note that an is equal to 1 if n is equal to k factorial and 0 otherwise. So the radius of convergence is given by the formula 1 by r is equal to limit superior of an raised to 1 by n. That is the limit superior of the sequence 0, 1, 1, etc. And limit superior is not affected by the zeros. 1 by r is equal to limit superior of the sequence 1, 1, 1, etc. But 1, 1, 1, etc. is a constant sequence. That constant sequence converges to 1. Therefore, the limit superior is equal to 1. And hence, the radius of convergence of the power series is 1. Problem number 3. Find the radius of convergence of the power series sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2n into z to the power 3n. We note that the given power series can be written as 0 plus 0 into z plus 0 into z squared plus 1 by 2 into z cube plus etc. Therefore, the coefficient an is equal to 1 by 2k if n is of the form 3k and 0 otherwise. Therefore, 1 by r is equal to limit superior of mod an raised to 1 by n. But that is equal to the limit superior of mod a3k raised to 1 by 3k. That is equal to limit superior of 1 by 2, 1 by 2k raised to 1 by 3k and the limit of and the limit of this sequence is 1, therefore the limit superior is equal to 1. So the radius of convergence of the power series is 1. <coughs> Next problem. <coughs> Given that the power series sigma an z to the power n converges for z is equal to 1 plus i and diverges for z is equal to 3 plus 4i. Find bound find the bounds for its radius of convergence r. If r is the radius of convergence of the power series, then the series converges for mod z less than r and diverges for mod z greater than r. By assumption, the power series converges for z is equal to 1 plus i. And this means that the point or the, the complex number 1 plus i is either inside the ball with the center 0 and radius r or its boundary. And this implies that 1 plus i belongs to the closure of this ball. And since 1 plus i belongs to the closure of this ball, the modulus of this complex number is less than or equal to r. But the modulus of this complex number is square root of 2, so square root of 2 is less than or equal to r. Again, since the series diverges for z is equal to 3 plus 4i, it follows that the point the, or the complex number 3 plus 4i is, is outside the closure of the ball with the center 0 and radius r. And this means that the modulus of this complex number is greater than r. And that means that r is greater than 5. So r lies between root 2 and 5. Next problem, find the radius of convergence of the power series sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity n into 1 plus i root 3 raised to n into z to the power n. Note that the coefficient of z to the power n is given by a n is equal to n into 1 plus i root 3 raised to n. But the radius of convergence of a power series is given by the Hadamard's formula 1 by r is equal to limit superior of mod an raised 1 by n is equal to limit superior of n raised 1 by n into n raised 1 by n into modulus of 1 plus i root 3. That is equal to limit superior of 2 into n raised 1 by n. And note that the sequence n raised 1 by n converges to the limit 1. 
So the sequence 2 into n to the power 1 by n converges to the limit 2. So the limit superior of the sequence is equal to 2. Hence the radius of convergence is equal to 1 by 2. Find the radius of convergence of the power series. Sigma n is equal to 2 to infinity log n into z to the power n. So here an, the coefficient of z to the power n is log n. And note that when n greater than or equal to 2, 1 is less than or equal to log n less than or equal to n. That is log n always lies between 1 and n. And this implies that 1 is less than or equal to log n raised to 1 by n less than or equal to n to the power 1 by n. Here note that the function fx is equal to x to the power 1 by n is a monotonic increasing function. Therefore, if 1 is less than or equal to log n less than or equal to n implies that 1 is less than or equal to log n raised to 1 by n less than or equal to n to the power 1 by n. And when n tends to infinity, limit of n to the power 1 by n converges to 1. And this means that the limit of log 1 to the power 1 by n is equal to 1. That is the sequence log n to the power 1 by n converges to 1. Therefore, the radius of convergence 1 by r, radius of convergence is given by 1 by r is equal to limit superior of mod n raised to 1 by n that is equal to limit superior of log n to the power 1 by n but limit superior of log n to the power 1 by n is equal to 1 so the radius of convergence is 1 next problem find the radius of convergence of the power series sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity n to the power 1 by n into z to the power n here n is equal to n to the power 1 by n. Again note that 1 is less than or equal to n to the power 1 by n less than or equal to n if n is greater than or equal to 1. Again note that the function fx is equal to x to the power 1 by n is a monotonic increasing function. So we can write 1 is less than or equal to n to the power 1 by n raised to 1 by n less than or equal to n to the power 1 by n. And note that the sequence n to the power 1 by n converges to the limit 1. That means that the sequence n to the power 1 by n raised to 1 by n converges to the limit 1. So 1 by r is equal to limit superior of mod n raised to 1 by n. That is equal to limit superior of n to the power 1 by n raised to 1 by n. But the sequence n to the power 1 by n raised to 1 by n converges to 1. The limit superior of this sequence is equal to 1 and hence the radius of convergence is 1. Next problem, find the radius of convergence of the power series n is equal to 0 to infinity n square divided by 2 raised to n into z to the power 3n. And note that ak is equal to n square divided by 2 raised to n if n is a multiple of 3 and 0 otherwise. Therefore 1 by r is equal to limit superior of n raised to 1 by n. That is equal to limit superior of modulus of a3n raised to 1 by 3n. Since limit superior is not affected by zeros. That is equal to limit superior of here a3n is equal to that is coefficient of z to the power 3n that is n square divided by 2 raised to n the whole raised to 1 by n. And this can be written as limit superior of nth root of n raised to 2 by 3 divided by 2 raised to 1 by 3. But note that the sequence n to the power 1 by n converges to 1. Therefore, this, this sequence converges to the value 1 by 2 to the power 1 by 3. So the limit superior of this sequence is equal to 1 by 2 raised to 1 by 3. So the radius of convergence is cube root of 2. Now find the radius of convergence of the power series 1 minus z by 2 plus z squared by 3 squared minus z cube by 2 cube 
plus z to the power 4 by 3 to the power 4 minus z to the power 5 by 2 raised to 5 plus etc. And note that the coefficient of z raised to n that is an is given by an is equal to 1 by 3 to the power n if n is even and 1 by 2 raised to n if n is odd. Therefore, mod an raised to 1 by n is equal to 1 by 3 if n is even and 1 by 2 if n is odd. So, the limit superior. So, the limit superior of mod an raised to 1 by n is equal to if n is odd, the value of an raised to 1 by n is 1 by 2. If n is even, the value is 1 by 3. So, the limit superior, limit superior is 1 by 2. So, the radius of convergence of the power series is 2. Find the radius of convergence of the power series sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity n to the power n divided by n factor into z to the power n. In this case it is very difficult to apply cauchy hadamard formula. So we apply the formula r is equal to limit of modulus of an divided by an plus 1. Here an is equal to n to the power n divided by n factor n. The radius of convergence of the power series is given by the formula r is equal to limit of modulus of an divided by an plus 1. And this is equal to limit of n to the power n divided by n plus 1 raised to n plus 1 into n plus 1 factorial divided by n factorial. And this is equal to limit of 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by n the whole raised to n. That is equal to 1 divided by limit of 1 plus 1 by n the whole raised to n. But the limit of this sequence is e. So r is equal to 1 by e. Find the radius of convergence of the power series sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity. z to the power n divided by n to the power p, p greater than 0. Here n is equal to 1 by n to the power p. The radius of convergence of the power series is given by r is equal to limit of modulus of an divided by an plus 1 and this is equal to limit of n plus 1 the whole raised to p divided by n raised to p and this is equal to 1. So the radius of convergence of this power series is 1. When the radius of convergence of the power series sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity k to the power n z to the power n where k is an integer not equal to 0. Here k is an integer not equal to 0. We apply the formula r is equal to limit of an divided by an plus 1. We obtain 1 divided by 1 by k. Find the radius of convergence of the power series sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. a raised to n squared into z to the power n. Here a is a complex number. We have r is equal to limit of modulus of an divided by an plus 1. After simplification we obtain limit of 1 divided by modulus of a raised to 2n plus 1 and this is equal to infinity if mod a is less than 1 and 1 if mod of a is equal to 1 and 0 if modulus of a is greater than 1. Find the radius of convergence of the power series a raised to n z to the power n a is an element in C. Here the radius of convergence is given by the formula. Radius of convergence is equal to limit of modulus of an divided by an plus 1. So in this case the radius of convergence is 1 divided by modulus.